Assalamu alaikum what's up guys this is Mustafa Tahir and I'm back with another video so guys do you do you know that uh, we can use JavaScript syntax into our flutter application yes we can just like as we do with the, the native Android we can do for flutter as well so now one uh, package is uh, being designed which is uh, flutter JS which uses quick JS if you're if you're from the J uh, JavaScript background you might be familiar with this QuickJS it is an embeddable embeddable package for uh, synchronous and asynchronous tasks so to use the package first we need to add the package with the help of this command flutter pub add and flutter underscore JS And while it's loading and if we come to the website they're saying that now we can do more with this uh, flutter JS like XHR and fetch HTTP calls request to the dart HTTP library XHR guys means that uh, we can parse the AJAX responses if I'm not wrong and they have also They have also made support available for Android, iOS, not for the just for the mobile, but from for all the operating systems. Rest. So yes, now our library is installed, and now what I can do is here I have uh, a predefined assets folder which I made it before, and on this assets folder I I will create a an, a file named as file.js and for this project structure I'll be having the board mass functions addition subtraction multiplication division respectively and I will declare the functions as function for the addition of two numbers and one and two and simply I will return with n1 plus n2 for addition subtraction multiplication and division So our basic JavaScript functions are ready. Now it's time to parse it within Flutter. So let's run this application first so that we can have quick responses as well. So guys, upon a successful run of our application, let's uh, create a function to parse this file JavaScript file any and guys before that we write anything for this project if you are using the JavaScript library you have to replace your main minimum SDK version to 21 here you have to change it like this it might be 16 or 17 and then you just have to replace it and for the NDK version, you must have an NDK version of 21 or above. To install the NDK version, you have to go to Tools, then SDK Manager. Right under this section, redirect to SDK Tools. It, it might be unchecked, you have to check this and here is the NDK side by side and just install the 
respective version otherwise your application would crash let's continue so here I will create a function which is the addition function and first I will declare two variables one for our counter that will be displayed and second for the JavaScript runtime JavaScript runtime runtime and get JavaScript runtime first we have to declare the object and then since it is asynchronous one and first we need to avail the JavaScript file for that final JS file equals root bundle root bundle is part of the services and then load string and provide the path where our file is assets and file dot js assets file dot js yes it's the correct path and don't forget to add await once we get this file we have to use the java script evaluation result eval result and we have to use the javascript runtime as well so javascript runtime and the values integer value 1 and integer value 2 and we have to parse it like js runtime dot evaluate required a string and we will use it like pass the js file first and then in addition we have to use the, use the function like this what was the function name it is addition be sure to have a correct spelling of your function and then we had two values and close this function as such first pass value 1 and then value 2 and I think it's interpolation issue yes so our function is complete now we need to return this as an integer so I will parse this with integer and js result dot string result so here a part of the function is completed now we need to build our UI for that I will take a center and in the center style I will have a column with main access alignment dot center and in the children first I will use the counter val value applying as a and apply a style text style font size of 40 and font weight bold after this function I will be having an elevated button addition guys my device suddenly stopped so let's continue on so yes now in the on pressed event make it as asynchronous and now for the to and now to parse the function I can use result and I need to fetch the result from 
this function addition function pass the javascript runtime the instance here and for the first value i will have the counter value and second value we need to implement we need to have an increment by one so i will pass one here and to fetch the result i will just make use of set state and inside the set state i can have the value of counter equals the value we fetched from result as integer if i hot reload and test it you can see that we have successfully implemented the addition function from the javascript syntax so we have done with uh, we have done for addition it's time for subtraction as well so i will just copy this function instead of sub addition i will replace it with subtraction function and since we are having the and since we are receiving the and since we are receiving the results from the same file we don't need to write it again and again so i will declare the string here and i will just replace it with our path completed and completed subtraction function and instead of this addition make it to subtraction here i will declare another button to subtract let's test this one it's not subtracting why is that file v1 v2 subtraction and one minus n2 sorry i'm not i forgot to replace this function now let's test it this is also working fine now two methods are remaining multiplication and division so i will create two more buttons multiplication and division for multiplication so addition and subtraction are working quite fine now two more methods are remaining multiplication and division so i will create two more functions here for multiplication and division and two more buttons multiplication make use of multiplication function and last one for the division division function and for division 
so let's test this one okay so for the multiplication we can apply any random number let's say the results we get multiply it with 2 and division same number with an even value let's say 4 hot reload and test addition subtraction multiplication and division okay so there is an issue okay we are having the radix number so we have to and if we test right now okay so we are having a double value instead of 4 if we divide it with 3 so we will get 7 yes so in this way so in this way guys we can make use of the javascript functions within our flutter application so as per their documentation they have uh, they are making progress to implementing the http and the ajax responses to the flutter applications in the up in the in the coming scenarios so inshallah i will try to make video and i am all also open for any suggestions from you guys so here guys i will wind up this video and i hope you have definitely enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel and do press that notification bell for my future updates and stay tuned guys and thank you so much for your responses. Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz. See you next time.